We are very happy to have Lisa Robertson here. She is one of the former stars of QVC, and she's speaking out now for the very first time about the years she spent dealing with multiple stalkers. And this morning, Lisa is sharing her empowering message for anyone who might be living in fear. It is great to have you here. It's been a long it time. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much. I know so many people right now are like, oh, they haven't <laughs> seen you in so long. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you. I'm doing really well. Lisa, what are you able and comfortable to share with us about the multiple stalkers that, that you've had to, to deal with? It started very early in my career at QVC and continued at different periods throughout. I was really just kind of freaked out by the whole thing right. and didn't know how to handle it and so I would just lock myself in my house and it's then go to work. I should have educated time. myself. It's I should have been more proactive. Mm -hmm. And after leaving QVC and realizing that now it was up to me if something happened, then I started to educate myself more and take more control of my own destiny. And when you've had so many over the last 20 years, mm -hmm. various ones, and, and, and again, I know you, you don't want to give them attention. You don't yeah. want to. You don't want to talk uh, uh, name names, or, yes. and nor should you. But to let people know some of the case, like there was a there was somebody who came to one of your colleagues' home or something and had a wedding ring strapped to his chest, yeah. taped to his chest, and, chest. And that's just so bizarre. I mean, this was a case where we had gone to court for this issue before. I had had to testify in front of the court. That's really scary to have yeah. to do that, even with the support that I had. Um, he had been convicted, he had served what he had been sentenced with, and then when it was over, he came back. How did this impact your life? For a lot of years, it was something that definitely impacted me to a much greater extent than I would have liked. And I don't think anyone should have to do that. I don't think anyone should be afraid in their own home. That's not, that's not acceptable. You shouldn't have to live in fear no. anywhere, especially no. in your own home. But no. what have you learned about yourself? I have learned that my way of dealing with things is to hide. This is not productive. I am working on that. Mm, that's <laughs> I, honest. I have also learned that the best way to deal with it is to be proactive. There are amazing resources online. There are hotlines. There are laws. There are people. There are systems. You are not alone if this happens to you. After 20 years of being in so many homes and you yeah. had a tremendous loyal following, after 20 years you left. Yeah. Was this the reason why? This was not the reason I left. It was one of the factors that led to the overall list. Because I think eventually you just look at it and say, okay, here are all the factors. It's been 20 years. I truly felt that it was time to go. So what does the future hold for you, Lisa? You know, at this point, I'm just taking a minute to breathe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have been sleeping in, in the mornings, and I just What's lay there. Like? What's that like? I know. Like? Tell me another Robin. story. <laughs> and it's not going to be forever. Right. Um, because definitely, there are going to be things in my future, and, and I'm not retired. Lisa Robertson, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> <laughs> <Give me a scene. laughs>